It's nice outside today. It seems like it's good weather for sitting and talking to a camera, having a picnic and sharing some Apple rumors. Let's start with the next phone that you either love or hate and might be in your pocket come September, the iPhone 7. The story begins with the very sad faced Qualcomm CEO, Steve Mollenkamp, who told analysts it looks like we're going to be losing a giant customer. And that big customer is Apple. It looks like Intel will be making the LTE chip for the upcoming iPhone 7. That doesn't mean you're gonna get like a core i7 in your phone. Uh, essentially what that's gonna mean is faster LTE speeds for you. Now Apple already upped the LTE speeds with the iPhone 6 and 6S with LTE A, but you're going to get even faster speeds with Intel's 7360 LTE modem, which I had to learn what that means. Theoretical speeds on this 7360 are about 450 down and 100 up. And also because I know you care, supports for bands 10 and 29. They're finally gonna get some Apple love. From LTE to what the frick is a phone gonna look like? The folks at Mac Okitara are substantiating pictures that we saw from the catcher, which essentially showed the back of the iPhone 7. Everybody assumed, including us, that these were just super fake pictures uh, showing the back of a phone with dual cameras and a smart connector down below. But it turns out, at least you believe Mac Okitara, who's got a spotty record, they have been spot on with some things. That's actually what the phone is going to look like. We talked a lot about the dual cameras to give you way sharper images uh, and a lot of ways to focus after the fact. But the big story, at least I think, is a smart connector. Now certainly it could lend itself to iPad Pro type accessories like a smart keyboard, for example. But I'm hoping it's got something to do with wireless charging. I've been, been hoping for a while, maybe. Next, let's jump to the Apple car. Apple has allegedly been trolling Germany looking for a dance partner. It's like that goofy kid in middle school asking everybody to dance. Everybody's turning it down. According to Hasselblatt, uh, Apple has been courting Daimler and BMW, just inviting them over to come help them manufacture the car because Apple has no idea how to make a car. The rumor mill suggests that Apple wants to use BMW's i3 as a basis for their Apple car. BMW is like, nope, seat's taken, I got a date. Talks between both German giants allegedly fell apart uh, over discussions over who would lead the project, who would own the data, and who would just be in charge of the whole thing. Apple certainly wants to own it, and BMW and Daimler were like, we want, we want that information. Apple also allegedly wants to integrate the software of the car very heavily with their cloud software, and BMW and Daimler wanted to keep consumers' information private, so they were just, just, just button heads. So here's where the story takes a little bit of a Bond villain sounding turn. Apple allegedly has engineers working in secret in Berlin. They really want to use the Germans' expertise, and they're hoping they can come up with a partnership. So for the next part, I apologize to our German-speaking friends. According to Frankfurter Allegheny Zutag, also known as FAZ, Apple's clandestine facility employs between 15 and 20 top class men and women from the German automotive industry with backgrounds in engineering, software, hardware, and sales. The workers are described as progressive thinkers. Not sure what that means, but supposedly their progressive thinking butted up against the more conservative thinking traditional German manufacturers. So no one knows what this is gonna be. Maybe we'll see an Apple car in like six years. Maybe we won't. Maybe BMW will make it and they'll slap an Apple logo on it. At this point, who the heck knows, but it's fun to speculate and talk about. One thing you can expect to feature heavily in this car if it does come to the market uh, is autonomous drive. It's one thing that's been consistent through the talk of Apple's Project Titan since the inception about three years ago and rumors started to circulate out. What do you guys think? Apple rumors, iPhone, Apple car. Are you excited, not excited? Want to hear your thoughts on it? Give the video a thumbs up, we always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Render from Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next video.